Hi, welcome back once again. My name is Mr. Charles Wonike. In today's video, we'll be continuously on continue on the previous video, which I, I promise you guys that I will be making a video on Redmeet. I make a video previously on uh, meats as a processed meat or food as the case may be, the food that you should try to avoid. Those things that are food that, that is not good in our system that has, um, that we should try to avoid it avoiding it should be that we should not eat it continuously we should not be eating it morning evening night throughout the week throughout the month keep on eating it we should do we should do we should try as much as we can to avoid it so even if we want to eat it let it be that once in a blue moon and i believe that it will also have a helping hand so in today's video we'll be talking about red meat and the red meat is under where i label it um food we should try to avoid there are food which i have made the video before i make the video on uh, cancer causing food that you should we should try to avoid and which is very important you know what cancer is all about cancer is a very dangerous disease that destroy human system it kills mostly if i'm not mistaken every year people died and every now and then people are dying just for cancer and another thing is that the international agency for research for research on cancer they are also part of the who those are the people that brought this report to us or to the public that we should be aware of the meat, the kind of food we eat that also generates cancer or that also trigger cancer. And it has been proven that the red meat also are involved. The red meat is also involved. And that is to also tell you why we should try as much as we can to also avoid the red meat. What I mean by avoiding the red meat does not mean that red meat doesn't have any other proteinous food. Red meat also have the positive aspect of it, but try to avoid it in the sense that we should not be eating it as if with that red meat we will no longer live. That is what they meant. So in that case, let me have to brief you of the positive aspect of red meat that um, red meat also contain, but it will also help us. But let it not be that those people that mostly are affected by cancer, they should try as much as they to avoid it in the sense that they should not be eating it regularly. Let it be that something that you eat once in a blue moon and so that it will also give you other um, proteins and, and uh, including the vitamins that red meat also gives. So red meat do also have nutritional value, which I just told you. They are highly or they, uh, they are also have proteins proteins in their own food, which is about um, 25 grams, the which is about 25 grams per, per three norms, the servicing. So in that case, they are also good source of iron. You know what I mean by iron? They are also good, good the source of iron, zinc, um, B vitamins, including uh, B12, B6, and other and every other one so these are the positive aspect of um, um, red meat so in some cases there are some other other organization health as well which also advise some cancer patient to take it but the international agency on research on cancer have also informed people that they should not partake on it mostly those people that are cancer patient, they should avoid eating that red meat. And what, just as I said before, they should avoid it does not mean that they shouldn't eat it at all. Let it be that once in a blue moon, I keep on mentioning this thing because I am not saying that you shouldn't eat, you shouldn't eat it, but try as much as you can. And you also find out the food that you should also eat that will scare the cancer away. And which I have already made the video, do, uh, and that was my my first video as well in this channel that I uh, that I made, and which I will also continue producing other positive or good video that will also uh, food that you should eat that will scare cancer away from you. 
So in that case, the 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 partner of WHO have have informed the pressure and the cancer patient that they should be avoid eating red meat completely. Completely, what they meant is not that frequently once in a blue moon. So in that case, red meat. Now the question is, what are the red meat? If I am to ask, or you may be asking, oh, this one that that, we, that you are hearing my voice talking of red meat, red meat, red meat. Which of them? What are the red meat? The red meat are, they are such as beef beef, punk, and uh, uh, vein, lamb, uh, the vein lamb, or also uh, venison. If it, uh, it is also include goat. So these are the red meat that I am talking about, which I just mentioned. Beef is involved, punk is involved, goat is involved, venison is involved, and, and the lamb is involved, and there are also other ones that I might not be able to mention or I couldn't even mention them. They are also involved. So in that case, it has been classified as group 2A uh, carcinogen, uh, which, uh, which means it, it is probably cancer, uh, causes cancer. So these are the food that probably also causes cancer once you keep on eating it every now and then so it also causes cancer because they are labeled on that to um, group um, group 2a and uh, which is a um, carcinogen um, um, group which it is a kind of um, group that also trigger cancer immediately once you keep on eating it frequently and frequently and frequently but by the time you know you talk or you think that is an enjoyment since you are enjoying it and by the time you know yourself you will be seeing yourself experiencing cancer symptom in your body so in that case do you also know that if you have if you had a cancer maintaining a healthy diet can help prevent cancer to be coming back once you once you have experienced a kind of cancer, maybe you have a cancer, but if you maintain a healthy diet, you should be able to know that that cancer will no longer come back as you keep on eating those food that scaled cancer away from your body, and which I have already made the video already, and uh, it's already there, so you can also go there and watch the video as well. So once you maintain it, definitely you will be scaring cancer. Away, which I mentioned it in that my video. Tomato is there, and I numerous to mention, which I explain it there. You can also watch the video. So in that case, red meat is also with an with an acid, with an increased risk. Just as I said before, it it also increases uh, the risk of um, of uh, colon and uh, colon cancer. We all heard about the colon cancer. We all also we have also be we are aware of uh, such as uh, protoast uh, prostate cancer. We are also heard about uh, um, pan pancreatic cancer, and they are also causes by red meat. Red meat, which I just mentioned, including beef, pork, and lamb, they are also causes by 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 those red meat cancer which we should try as much as even if you want to eat it even if we, the thing is the way you have you might have uh, seen when they are garnishing it arranging it the the, the, the kind of um, uh, aroma that you are perceiving and you know sometimes we will also just want to text and forgotten that it has been informed we are we are all informed that these things are the problem for the cancer food but for me, I believe that, don't misunderstand what I'm about to say, please. I believe that uh, all these things that God creates, uh, it doesn't have an, uh, it doesn't have any negative issue. It is just the handwork of devil. But since we have already observed it, then we should try as much as we can to avoid it just for, for, for our own betterment. Because all these things we are created by our maker. So, and that is the reason why God also gave some people 
knowledge of science and knowledge of so many things so that we'll be able to avoid some certain things since Adam and Eve have already defied the head and definitely by the grace of God, Christ has come to die for our sins and so many of them depending on what you and uh, what you believe. But all these things are also created by uh, our maker, but it was that thing that causes the fall of man that also affects most of this thing that we are hearing of cancer and non-cancer. And I believe that cancer, it comes from the, the, the dark kingdom, not just for anything. It came out from the dark kingdom and they have to inject it on this kind of um, um, good food that God created for us to enjoy. So on that process, scientific have discovered so many things that we should try as much as we can to avoid it so that we'll be able to live long. And it's also uh, an advice to each and every one of us as well. So in that case, just as I said previously, I mentioned of uh, processed uh, meat or food, which I, will, I have already discussed it. Both the, both the processed uh, uh, meats are, are, are also, you can also call it a red meat. You can also call it a red meat and, and a poultry product that have been preserved by smoking, which I have already discussed this video that um, the processed um, food or meat is also preserved by smoking, curing, no, curing, sorting, and other additional chemical to preserve it so that that food or that meat will last as long as it is uh, as as long as the person that did it that he doesn't want to lose but in that case we should also bear in mind for the examples of this uh, examples of this uh, processed meat which i have discussed previously hot dog is involved sausage is involved um bacon is involved and there are numerous of them which i have already discussed so far on that um, process uh, processed um, meat or food as the case may be so they all they are highly risk and cancer risk food that also trigger the cancer to 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 destroy our system so we should try as much as we can to also avoid each and every one of them i believe you have heard what i said and uh, it will be very uh, uh, interesting that that once you had or what once 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 you have received this information, you should try as much as you can to avoid it. And avoiding it doesn't mean that uh, uh, they are denying you food or denying you what you like eating, but they are just trying to preserve your life for the betterment of future. Thank you once again. Please, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel. Comment, like, and share. Thank you once again. See you next week.